Hi Makers, how's it going today? I'm Rachel and I am the Idea Foundry Metal Shop uh, instructor. Uh, today we're going to go over how to get smooth clean cuts with the handheld plasma torch. Uh, first I'm going to cover helmets and safety gear. So you need an auto darkening helmet um, in order to protect your eyes from the UV light that's coming out of the machine. You're also going to need gloves because as you're cutting the material is getting hot. Um, we're also going to go over um, every time you use this tool, especially at Idea Foundry, with it being a community workshop, you don't know how much has been used before you've come in. Um, so over here I have an example of a brand new electrode and then a really wasted one. So we can't use this one. Um, it won't give you very good cuts um, and most of the time the electrodes come with a new copper tip as well. So I go ahead and replace that so you get better airflow. Um, also, on this plasma cutter in particular, we have another one, the Miller, um, we have, which doesn't have a safety, but the Hobart does. You want to slide down your safety button just to get it started. It won't engage otherwise. So see, it, the trigger button stops. Um, you just slide one down to get it started. When you're holding your torch, you want to make sure that it is perpendicular to your work surface here. Um, 90 degrees will give you, if you're holding your torch at 90 degrees, you wanna, you'll get a better cut, um, much cleaner cut. Um, to stabilize, you can kind of brace your arms against your hip. Uh, you can also, and I'll go ahead and put my gloves on so you get a better visual. You also can, I would suggest holding it with two hands. Um, so I'm a right a righty, I like to hold the, the button part with my right hand and then my non-dominant hand I rest underneath to kind of help control depth a little bit better. Um, so also to find your test cut or your settings, I like to do test cuts, which I've done a few over here. This is eighth inch thick material, which is also 11 gauge. Um, so I've already set the amperage for that. Um, all machines are a little bit different, so it's best to just do a test cut beforehand. Um, when you are cutting, you want to hover about a sixteenth of an inch or less above that workpiece. Um, you don't want to drag it because as the material is melting, it's creating slag. It's also going to keep you from making smooth cuts as it's bubbling up. So always hover. Um, and the slag is a mix of metal oxides and silicon dioxide. Um, I'll kind of go over uh, how to get rid of that. Um, while it's still hot, it's best to get, it, get rid of it with a chip hammer. And I usually rest it against the table here and kind of use that to pinch the slag off. It helps uh, lessen your work afterwards to get that off. It's not great to weld on either, so you want to get rid of it. All right, so now we're going to go into showing you a test cut. Um, so I'm going, again, to hover about a sixteenth of an inch away from that material. Um, so let's get started. It's bacon. Mm -hmm. So that's it for the how to get smooth clean cuts. Um, next we're going to go into best pace and how to not go too fast while you're cutting so you know that you're cutting through. I'm Rachel. Thanks for joining me today. Mm -hmm. Bye.